Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, looking at a parts assembly for a 1958 Cadillac Eldorado Brome. Uh, some of these parts we've had in our shop before. Uh, we rebuild them and send them to the owner of the vehicle. And uh, they were having some problems with the main lift motor, so they went ahead and packaged everything up, sent it back to us, and we went through it again and rebuilt the uh, primary lift motor. But I'm going to go over it with you, give you a quick overview of what all the assemblies are. This piece here is your opening limit switch, and it's a ground fault uh, switch, which actually uh, works off a, a plunger. Moving down here, this is your relay assembly. This is the brains of the whole operation that controls all the sequential movements of the trunk lid. Uh, this is your drive motor. This is your clutch housing assembly. This is your solenoid, which engages this two-stage clutch. Now, within this clutch assembly, there is a, uh, a two-stage clutch, which has two clutch discs, one to raise it and one to engage to hold it when it's in position. Uh, this solenoid here, which engages and disengages the clutch drive, it's not actually the original solenoid for this part, and when it came to us, it was really, really out of whack, so we had to do some modifications and some extension to get the angling and everything right on it. Uh, this is your lift arm here. This is your latching assembly. This latching assembly also has involved with it a limit switch, which is this green block, a mm. rear control uh, from the key which can open and close this trunk lid assembly outside the vehicle. And then you have the drive pull down motor assembly. Now we're going to walk around this whole assembly and ignore the shaking of the camera. Uh, we're doing this on a cell phone. Okay, what you're seeing from this side is the gear drive mechanism on the back side of the uh, the drive motor and the lift arm. And then you have the solenoid which engages or disengages the latching assembly here. Now this arm here, and you can see where this travel is, what this does is when the trunk lid closes, it will engage and slowly close the lid and latch it. This is your drive motor assembly on the pull down uh, part. And up in here are some limit switches which tells this, this part to stop and start. Uh, the limit switch on the latch is the bottom part of this green assembly here. Okay, we're going to go back around the uh, device and we're going to run it through an operation. That way you can see how all the components work together. You'll notice there's a light bulb here. What this light bulb does on this vehicle in the dash is a trunk opening indicator. And this just lets us know that we have all our circuitry correct in the wiring. And uh, as you notice when we turn the switch to open, this light will indicate. And as long as this arm is up, uh, the, simulating the trunk lid, then it will stay on. And once it's completely closed and secure, this light will turn off. Okay, we're going to run through an operation. Notice the assembly descending, light is on, now we're going to close it. Unit is completely closed, the light is off, the pull down mechanism is set and the latch is set. And that in real simple terms is everything working together as it's supposed to. Now, the actual trunk of this vehicle, uh, these parts will be three to four or five feet apart. Some of them are mounted in the trunk lid, others at the end of the trunk, opposite ends of the trunk, and are connected with a color-coordinated wiring harness. Uh, actually, it's the same color coordination that we have here on our mock-up display. And uh, all the leads all the way up to the limit switches are correct. So that's how it works. And uh, if you ever had a 
a question on how this whole assembly uh, worked in tangent with one another, then you now have the answers. Uh, this is Alan Carswell at AC Pro Auto Interiors and Tops. And as far as I'm aware of, we are the only one in the United States that can completely disassemble and fabricate the parts and, and build new clutches and rebuild these motors uh, for this system. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, tell others about us, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks.